What is going on guys, Gator Baffy here. Today's deck is on Aggro Paladin with a few nice twists. So, main things to notice is that we are running Nerubi and Egg. This card has been said to be pretty slow in Paladin, however, I think the data is looking better and better for it. It's very good into Rush Warrior, it's pretty good into the Mirror, so I have included in this deck. We also have Animated Broomstick. I've seen some experimentation with this card. It's been popping up every here and there, and I think it's actually pretty good. It's a fantastic swing with things like Nerubian Egg. You buff your Egg, you trade it in, you spawn your 4-4 and your Broom and it's super strong. Broom plus things like Goody Two Shields are super strong, with Authority it's super strong. It's a flexible tool, it's not a fantastic card in the deck, but to fill out the last slot it's pretty good. I'm also running one copy of Red Scale Dragon Tamer, it's, it's very similar to Tail and Forging. So the main idea behind both of these two cards is that you want Alex Draws on turn 9. Alex is a super, super strong finisher. You always want to have it on turn 9. Talon's a 5-mana 3-3 three, three that guarantees Alex Straza. Red Scale is a 2-mana two 2-3 two that guarantees Alex Straza. 2-mana two 2-3 two is better, so I have included the Red Scale. Mulligan-wise, you always want to keep the first day of school. You want to keep Crab Rider nearly always. You want to keep Hand of a Doll if you already have first day of school or Righteous Protector or a Crab Rider on the coin. Red Scale with Dragon Tamer is a keep into most matchups, and Goody Two Shields you want to keep when you already have another keepable card on turns two, one or two. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. Into Paladin here, okay? Interesting note about this deck is that uh, when you are on the coin in the mirror matchup, your win percentage is around 20%. So, uh, try not being on the coin in the mirror. Now, I actually don't keep Knight on the coin. Because when you're on the coin, the only way you win is with, with getting first day of school. That's the only way if you win the game. It's just... <laughs> the unfortunate truth of the way the Paladin Mirror works is that if you're not going first, your opponent has to break and you have to high roll. Because again, it's just a terrible matchup when, when you're on the coin. However... Nurbi Nag into a coin Kings is actually very, very strong. Yes, Sword of the Fallen. That's gonna mess me up, but not too badly. Play the egg down. Mankirk. I will test with the coin because if he does not have. Oh my dog, I, I win the game on the spot. Does have it, but it goes into an Innervate. That's sick. I get the Kings off, trading the Egg. And this is the power of Nurubian Egg. It guarantees a buff target. The buff target should win you the board. And then on top of that, I have a 3 mana minion beneath this Egg. So possibly next turn, I play Goody 2 Shields, trade the Egg in, Broom in, huge tempo swings possible. Let's see what happens though. Place first day of school. Best card in Hearthstone. I have anointment. No worries. Is this first day of school going to get the scam done? Hellbore is not anything scam related. So this turn is most likely going to be a broom turn. Into that. Okay. And this creates some weird scenarios. So there are a few different plays here. There's Goody Two Shields plus Broom. Which is really good tempo. So Greedy Two Shields Broom ends with me having a It's really good. Yeah. So two shields, broom, egg trade into the one one. No avenge, so trade and then give two shields up. Allows for King's next turn to proc the goody two shield shield. And there if it was avenge, I would have traded the divine shield and the broom into the last minion. For a full clear. Okay, more first day of scams. Let's see how he can save the game with, with a couple of 1 1s. 
Kind of a one drop, excuse me. A very good one drop there in Righteous Protector. And in Wolpertinger, off the buff, very good. So as I previously mentioned, this game was over for him, apart from first day of school scaling the game out of the water. I think it did. I think it actually did pull him back in the game. Yep, okay. Now, Samora was a fantastic top deck here. However, it's going to scale very well. I think I just play it, though, yeah. Get the Samora down. Pop his board. Bench procs, no issues. This Secret Paladin usually does not play Samora, if I'm not mistaken. Do I play around it anyways? So there's two options here. I have two I have two options. Okay. If he does not have Samuro plus conviction slash a doll, I win the game on the spell with a certain play. However, I lose to it if I go Two shields into the 5-3 here. I can just do this. Hmm. I think this is, this is the play I'm going to make here. It looks really weird. But if I were to pop the egg and keep the two shields up, he could just Samuro Conviction, trade into the Samuro. It blows up my whole board. The game is over. I'm not interested in losing the game on the spot to that. So I played around it. I would have won the game against anything else, but I feel confident that I'm going to win anyways in a normal game state. So I chose to go for the more stable play. Got a Kings the Samuro, trade, trade, hero power. Crowd Rider Authority is an amazing board taking tool for next turn. And we still have a very strong board presence here. This is the kind of situation where you can understand why I have Dragon Tamer to fetch out the Alcstraza. It's very important to draw Alcstraza in this deck. It's going to be the damage you're going to use to get your opponent to 0 to HP. And I really want it right now, which is why I have the Dragon Tamer in the deck. A doll plus Kalen's pretty good here for him. Takes a lot of face damage though. And this crab's going to bust through with the authority. Did I have another action to make? It's in a, I think my one was yellow. I don't know what else I could have done. There's nothing to actually play. So, he has a 9-7 on the board. He just drew most likely an Alexstrasza. Unfortunately for my opponent, Alexstrasza costs 9 mana. He cannot play quite yet, and the ways he can clear this 9-7 are few, if any. But this should end the game. It yeah, played for tempo. Um, played around that Samuro play again. I made the choice that if I did not play around Samuro, I would have lost to Samuro. The game would have been over. And I thought I was going to win the game in ev every other situation, so I chose to play around the Samuro and ended up paying off. Even though there was no Samuro, uh, the call I made that I would still have won in a normal game state was correct. Egg carried that game really well. That was just a fantastic game. Once again in the mirror matchup. This time we're already going first. That's a huge high roll. I'll keep the, the protector in my hand. Maybe conviction as well. Probably not though. Yeah, no conviction keep. If we draw any, pretty much any playable card for turn two, the game should be over. Fantastic. Again, I said any playable card. This was probably the best playable card. And that's just backbreaking tempo. We have the angling order over the top to deal six damage over the next two turns. Blessing for the Crab Rider to just win the game. Okay, two shields is better here. Allows for trading. And of course, this egg is tremendously slow right now because I have a Rage Protector blocking its way. The way he gets through this is by having a Crab Rider and buffing his egg. If this egg has to trade, 
he has no chance. Yep. So, is there a way I can make the play that I want to make, or am I just going face? I'm just going face. Yep. Also, a chance that I would have wanted to trade in the crab rider once, go to two shields and once, go face. Might have been a better play, but I'm not too threatened by this crab's ability to kill my crab rider. The, the amount of effort it would take him to clear this 1-1 one, one and buff this up enough to kill my crab is just very difficult. I believe Karyl coin conviction and wins the high, wins the coin flip does do it, but he does not win the coin flip. Crab Rider lives, and the game is over on turn five. Very good. Very, very good. So yeah, just played for the snowball. It probably was correct to trade off into the egg. That was probably a mistake for me, but I, I, I went for the aggressive play, got the win. Very quick game. Druid. Now, depending on the rank you're at, Druid's going to be very different. I would say the higher and higher you go, the more likely it is to be a token Druid, Gibberling Druid. I don't know what to expect in Dumpster here. I'm really not sure. He one kept. Let's see what happens. Lots of thinking here. Okay. Cold is always the best one drop. First day of school is a balanced card, as we all know. Typically, when you're on the coin, you want to coin carryal, but here I'm probably not going to. I mean, first day of school is going to win me the whole early game. Very nice. Okay. Flurry is actually not bad in this matchup. So, as I said, you're usually going to end up coining carryal on the coin. However, here, our curve is pretty clear. Carryal on four, coin hammer conviction on five. Okay, it has the early Twilight Runner. I'm going to try and just say that I don't care and go face. See how that works. Could be better now. It's better to flurry now. Get, get, get the flurry out. Go face. Just playing for tempo. Clearly, if you went for an innervate Twilight Runner play, he's low on actual things to do. It's a pretty desperate play. So, acknowledge the, the desperation. And we have coin authority. Very strong here. That should be good. Lots of options for next turn. Most standard ones, probably just going to be conviction plus carry. However, we also have crowd rider conviction put turns. Bunch of options here. Chose to buff this so he would take more damage on, on the runner. May or may not have been correct. Looks like he might be dead. I have 11, 17. Not quite. Almost there though. Oh, that is lethal. Very nice. So, another super quick win. One face, played for tempo. First, I mean, if you draw two first day of school, you're just going to win the game. That's how the card works. Good game, aggressive, fast, quick one. Into DH, none of these are keeps. Crab is very good. Interesting hand here. So, the problem is that if my Crab Rider dies, my early game is pretty much gone. Yeah, my entire hand is just buffs. Now, for three mana, apart from top decking, having a left side I beam or a top deck I beam, it's very hard for him to kill this. He hits it, no I beam. Great. Have the Adal. I mean, and this might just snowball out of control here. This might just end the game. 
We have the Kings next turn. And I just want to ride this crab to victory. Warblades. Again, he's just desperately trying to kill this stupid crab. Well, the crab is resilient. Up to a 7 7 going face. <laughs> Ryan the crab. Hopefully, to victory. He does have ways to clear it though and heal, so this game's not over for sure. But Spectral Sight with two mana left. Now many ways to clear. And that's going to be a turn five. I mean, these games are all in a row, by the way. I am just melting people right now. Crowd Riders is a crazy card. That's the TLDR. 